very welcome back to the show. Lower back pain, it is the most common cause of job-related disability with about 80% of adults experiencing it in their lifetime. So what causes it and more importantly, can you treat it? Well, Dr. Dominic Hegarty, consultant in pain management at the Matter Private Hospital here in Cork is with us again. Dominic, great to have, great you, to have you with us, on Dominic. the show. Thank uh, you very straight much. into it, Thank what you. is lower back pain? It's a pain that causes a lot of problems for a lot of people and it can occur very quickly is the bottom line. The way the easiest way of kind of classifying it for people is to say, how long have you had it? Which mm -hmm. is simple. So take, for example, someone who's getting into the car this morning, they, they wrench their back, they hurt their back muscles. They're going to take four to five days to get over six days. It'll be Monday before they'll be feeling back to square one. And so you're that's hoping, acute pain. Is that's that right? acute pain. It's an yeah. episode. We've all experienced it at some period of time, but it's enough to put you out of work for two days and is you get back to your back feet. Is that the lower back or the muscles around it? It's the muscles around a little bit, but um, it, it, it triggers off a whole sequence of events. Is element to it itself. Kind of your back freezes in one sense. Freezing, because that's really what the muscles are doing. They're, they're spasming up to it. And that's, that brings us to the next phase, which is the six week person, the person who doesn't get out of it. They're struggling. They're barely making the physio, able to get a couple of tablets from their GP medication, mm. and they're still struggling. They're not making ground. And you know, it comes to an end. You're, you're trying to get over it. I mean, six weeks from now is Easter. So if you hurt your back this morning, yeah. you're actually in trouble by Easter. It's a long that's time a because long you can't time. walk around properly. No. You're limited in what you can do. Absolutely. Mm. Is that then when you go to the next level, which is chronic pain? That's yes. continuous. There's continuous definition of that as anything that goes beyond three months at that point in time. But a typical scenario for someone who, who's that sequence, if they don't get out in six weeks, they are looking at struggling for six months at that point in time. Mm -hmm. That is a long time by the time you get through the whole element. Again, if you use dates, that's nearly August by now. So if you're caught from today, you're going to be in trouble to nearly August. That's the end of the summer. That's the end of the summer. Yeah, and you've lost a lot of valuable time yeah. over the summer season, a lot of good time with the family and, and, and work to a yeah. point. But it's, it's not to be negative towards it, but it just does drag on. And sometimes it drags on because people don't know what's going on, they leave it behind, they don't understand it. And all I say is, look, talk to someone it's about it. You've been paying, you're paying for a long time constantly, though. Constantly. It's like it's 24-7. Yeah. It is, and it's simple things like being able to play with the kids, being able to walk around at, at, the, at the, the, the counter at home, doing the jobs. It's all an issue, sitting in the car for a length of time. Are people yeah. masking it sometimes with drugs, and that continuity just continues then, but the issue has not been dealt with? It's a little bit of that, but in fairness, if you're sore, you're going to take oral medication to do it. I think what comes to it is they, they come to a point when they realise it's not working okay. anymore. And yeah. that, I suppose, raises the question, why isn't it working? anymore mm -hmm. and you have to look at the structure of if the model to, to try and work the through the problem. Are you, you're going to show us the different parts. Uh, yeah, tell us exactly what we're looking at here first. This is, this is a, a nearly life-size model of a, a lower back disc area and you can see a couple of features in it itself. The classical one that people go for, if I can point out, mm -hmm. is the, the disc tissue itself and this red bulgy bit mm. is a classical disc that slipped. About 20% of people will have that. So what will they be feeling, somebody who has that? That individual will pick up pain travelling down the leg into their toe. It's irritating them at night time and they're basically not able to do an awful lot about it. Some of the questions that came in were related Actually, to this element. Actually there's one on sciatica there, is yeah. that the type yeah. of pain it's you'd feel? It's the type of pain that you'd feel from that element to it itself. So it's classically, it's in the distribution of the sciatic nerve, that's why it gets its name. Okay, well that's interesting. Yeah, it's just here as well, I just finished off here, it's now travelling to, uh, to the heel of the foot as well, so it's travelling all the way down. I take painkillers for it and uh, do exercise, try to ease it. Absolutely, and that's exactly what happens. Now in, in that case when it gets to the heel, I can tell you, even look without looking at MRI, that's hitting the lower zone, the L5 territory, much mm -hmm. lower down on the commonest area that would catch over here. And it entraps or leans against this yellow nerve that's here. That's what causes the, the pain, pins and needles. Yeah. And if people who haven't had sciatica, all you have to do is remember if you bang your, your elbow, you get that stinging. Yeah. Imagine having that all of the time. It, that's the picture. Th th that happened to me before. And when I was inside in bed then, Dominic, right, I was trying to sleep. I was getting into a comfortable position. So I was sleeping like this mm -hmm. across the bed. But what happened then? I actually put out my shoulder. My sh because I was compensating yeah. so yes. the, for so the sciatica. So you were holding your shoulder in a bad And so way, then yeah. I, I did another four or five months trying to get oh my, my shoulder God. right. Absolutely. Because I didn't take care, take care of it at the time. Absolutely. But following through, if we don't mind, that's exactly what happens. And I'm going to just tilt this around. Yeah. So yeah, you're going to struggle. All the muscles that fit into this gutter that's either side, the paraspinous muscles, they run alongside, they start to struggle just mm -hmm. to deal with exactly that scenario. And guess what? The next thing that goes into trouble are the facet joints, these knuckle joints either side of the, of the back itself. And no, the longer this goes on, the worse it's going to get. Yeah. It just, just What do you adds do on. though when something like that happens? Let's go back to the sciatica stage. Yep. What do you do? Simple answer, if someone comes in, the first important thing is, is the timeline. If it's, a, it's an urgent element, you may have to be referred to an emergency department to make sure okay. that things are settled down. Mm -hmm. But let's take it to a situation like six months that's going on. An MRI scan is very useful because it rules out where the level might be. Mm -hmm. My scenario would be I would look at that 
chat to the individual, do a couple of examinations, but ultimately it would involve injections to the area from my perspective. And mm -hmm. I can, under x-ray guidance, we can look at the at the foramen that are opening there. I know the lads have in the producer's line have, have a shot of, of the lower back yeah, with an x-ray up that, James, that yeah. itself. And while this is focusing in on the facet joint in particular, what you want to do is you want to put your injection into the area where that nerve is going. Mm -hmm. and so what's the injection numbers. due to it then, John? It, it's a basically a combination of local anaesthetic and some steroids. So it mm -hmm. takes the swelling off the nerve itself. And you're hoping that that would reduce the symptoms by at least 50% takes the pressure off. Okay. They can start going back and walking and getting their exercise regime going down. Because the exercise is very, very important then as well. It is very important, really. It's, it's an important aspect to get right, um, to, to ensure that the muscles stay nice and strong in some respects, mm. both pre and post the injury itself. There's no point doing the exercises when you're hurt. You need yeah. to be doing it all of the time. Okay, uh, so it's basically you're saying you go to your GP, you'd eventually maybe end up with someone like you, and then you would slowly help the muscles and repair with the help of drugs or a steroid or whatever. Yes, absolutely. Okay. And that's where the injection work really comes into its own because it's so focused. It's specifically into it. And that's really where I do my work is to try and target mm -hmm. the area that's okay. giving the effect. And that's very reassuring for an individual when they're with you in the theatre complex, mm -hmm. you're under extra, you're doing it live, you're picking up the spot with them there and then. And they say, hey, that's the spot. Because you see, you, you see pain differently because we spoke about this before. We see pain <coughs> as pain, but you see pain as you're yeah. kind of, you're taking all the layers back where it's coming from where it's going to why is it going yes. in this direction and not yeah. another direction and that's, that's i just want to difference. get this in another one in here and it's a it's a pain around the coccyx i'm three months suffering with that it's getting worse especially when i walk i've taken medication but it doesn't work i work in an office so i sit 90 percent of the day now is yes. that the the problem they're in a little bit, but if they've had that situation, that sounds to be like a coccidinia, which is a slightly different, but it can give that lower back pain. Again, if I move this guy yes, a small David. bit here for us, the coccyx is the tail end bit here. So it doesn't yeah. surprise you that you, sit, that you sit on it. You sit on it, absolutely. Yeah. And we're all meant to sit on it, because yeah. that's what we do. And there's a little bit of flexibility in the actual coccyx. But the minute that becomes injured, it's like having a sore finger and you just can't get rid of it. Okay. And as you said, you're sitting on it. You're actually at night time. You're, you're, you're almost lying on it at times. Mm. The muscles in the area are protecting it, but they're pulling on it. So so that's again a very simple thing for me to do under x-ray you're specifically looking at those joints you're injecting it to it you're giving it a chance to heal yeah. and take it a break and break it down piece yeah. by piece so it's not uncommon yeah. to hear exactly that and scenario. And even though there it's going to affect the whole mm. lower back isn't it? The whole yeah. back because Is they're lifestyle, all comfortable. Has mm. lifestyle an awful lot to play with a dominant these days? I mean let's for example can, can <coughs> the people that are watching today that are sitting in offices or indeed maybe working from home as a lot of people mm. do now can, if, should you get up and walk around should you try and help yourself on the local level before your GP or a specialist arrives in? I think that's good good practice and good absolute mm. practice. We get excited about it, we have OT in and we do this and check you've got yeah. the right chair. But we all go home and we sit in the chair at home for starters <laughs> in the wrong way. We just throw ourselves there at, at five in the evening, you're very happy to lie, lie mm. down, never mind, sit down. Which you're right. So we're, we have to be more conscious of it. We're also moving between desks more yeah. often a little bit. So you're not always at your own desk and mm. you're quickly doing jobs. You're, you're in and out of the car more often. Mm -hmm. There's so many variables. Before, you used to say it's kind of a manual labours issue. Yeah. The mm -hmm. guy who's out doing the work, he has it's, to hurt you. Well, actually, it's sitting around. And it goes down to most Thank you very much. Thanks so much. Sorry, sorry we, we've run out of time. Always, as we said, yeah. consult your GP if you do have any health no. concerns.